I'm Nisi Nash back. Shout out to Great Team News. All right, shout out to the Black Tea Queens for the tea. All right. Uh, apparently, Callie has something to say about Jaden, about her relationship with Jaden. Okay. Um, every it seems like everybody be beefing in this family. Uh, everybody don't get along. Okay. Um, it seems like it never stops at this point. But let's see what Callie has to say. Okay. Let's see what Callie has to say. Fair use. So what is your relationship like with Jaden? Um, Jaden be disappointing the fuck out of me a lot because, you know, she's been around for so long. Like, we've known her since she was a little girl, you know? So, I think I just be hurt with everyone around me for real. I know I'm not perfect. I know I got my own shit going on, but I definitely try. And, um, yeah. Because I feel like, like Jaden has gotten so, and then you can, you can vouch for me and say yes or no, but she has gotten so, uh, quiet. Yeah, I can agree to that. I don't know. Maybe... She miss her nigga or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you get on my nerves. <laughs> so what is your relationship like with Jaden? So it seemed like nobody get along with Jaden. Carlissa don't like Jaden. Uh, obviously, Krishan don't like Jaden. Callie don't like Jaden. Um, Whack 100 shows Jaden love every chance he gets. We already know how Blueface feels about Jaden. Um, seems like she gets a lot of shade thrown at her. And, you know, maybe we don't really know uh, Jaden. Obviously, we can only uh, judge her off of what we've seen, okay? Only situation that I question Jaden on is, I remember one time there's an old video of her uh, smashing Blueface windows in uh, his car and stuff like that and in the house. Um, she had a Krishan moment. I definitely, so I, always, I dragged her for that, but that was like four years ago, right? And then remember uh, recently, last year, she got into that fight. And Blueface got in, uh, got into it with her and stuff like that. Uh, at, remember, it was at her performance. So she has, she has her little unstable creature moments, but it's like a one percent compared to everybody else, compared to Krishan, compared to Blueface. You know, so maybe behind the scenes she's a real B word. Maybe she's, you know, I don't know. But it seemed like everybody always throwing some shade at Jaden. Even in the last live we just looked at with. Carlissa, she says that we don't need Jaden over here. You know, I'm like, hmm, okay, that's very interesting. Very, 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 very interesting, you know. Um, Jaden be disappointing the fuck out of me a lot because you know, she's been around for so long. Like we've known her since she was a little girl, you know. So I think I just be hurt with everyone around me for real. I know I'm not perfect. I know I got my own shit going on, but I definitely try and um yeah. Because I feel like like Jaden has gotten so, and then you can you can vouch for me, say yes or no, but she has gotten so uh, quiet. Yeah, I can agree to that. I don't know. Maybe she miss her nigga or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you get on my nerves. <laughs> so I'm thinking, like, is that some shade? I mean, of course she missed Blueface, right? I don't know. I don't know, but. I can only judge Jaden on face value. Uh, she's not all out, you know what I'm saying, acting up and all in doing lives and telling all her business. We don't really be knowing what's going on with Jaden. Like I said, maybe behind the scenes, she's more of a snake. Maybe behind the scenes, she's more of a B word. But I mean, I can only judge her from what I see. Everybody else look like clowns. Y'all got her looking like the most, at least what I will say, logical one, mentally stable one. Especially if you want to co compare Jaden to Krishan. There's no comparison. It's not even a, uh, like, let's be honest here. Like, let's be honest here. Krishan is on a thousand. On a scale from one to ten, a thousand. She be acting up. She crazy. She literally got warrants all over America because she can't keep her hands to herself. Which uh, ultimately gets her away from her son. It don't seem like Jaden put herself in situations to where as though you know, she's going to be away from her kids. She seemed like she lives for her babies. But that's just the vibe that I get from her. That's just the vibe that I get from her. You know? Uh, I think Carlissa and Callie thought they were above Jaden. And when Blue put her uh, on, uh, now she is popping. They mad, giving jealousy. I can see that. But yeah, Callie and um, 
um, Carlissa do seem like they are very territorial. You know, they, they treat Blueface like property, you know, and like he should uphold his mother and sister uh, over his baby mamas, over his girl, his fiance and stuff like that. I think everyone, everyone should have a special place in his heart. You know, at the end of the day, Callie will always be his big sister. At the end of the day, Carlissa will always be his mom. You know, and Jaden is his fiance, baby mama, whatever you want to call her, right? Um, it shouldn't be a competition. Like, why is it even a competition? You know, you said they just hating because she's staying on business. I can see that. Uh, she doesn't need cloud off of Krishan, Blue, or Carlissa. She gets to her bag. I agree with that. Yep. They probably been manipulating Jaden since she was young. Uh, I can see that. I mean, there's so much stuff going on behind the scenes. Ain't no telling, you know? Ain't no telling. But from what I see, it seems like Jaden, you know, she about her business. She about her business. She, she ain't with the rah-rah. She ain't with the drama. She ain't really with the circus activities too much, you know? That's just the vibe to me. To me. Um, and now this is Callie speaking on, um, you know, Blueface and Krishan. You know, and it's crazy because after fighting Krishan, she says she actually forgives Krishan, but not Blueface because, you know, Blueface did stick Krishan on Cali to fight. You know, it seemed like he was taking Krishan's side on that, too. And I think Blueface is kind of weird when it comes to that, because, you know, hindsight is 2020. The way we're looking at Krishan now, it's like, bro, you should have never chose her over Cali. At least it seemed like Cali always had her had his back. But, you know, they got their own issues. It don't seem like none of them uh, get along. Honestly. Same thing with the Malones. The Malone sisters is always fighting, going back and forth with one another. Before Mookie was in jail, fighting for his life literally right now for attempted unaliving. He had an issue with Blueface and uh, Krishan with his younger sister. Tessa got something to say. China got something to say. Even Charlotte got something to say. Charity got something to say. Tashiki. You know, so it seemed like everybody on both ends they all crazy. They all don't get along, right? But uh, shout out to the Black Tea Queens for the post. Let's see what Callie gets to say. Now, how do you feel about Krishan? Because, um, because you know, you know what we seen. <laughs> we know the, doo -doo -doo, you know. So. I mean, so I think that's like the part where you guys might be getting it mixed up. So, like, my beef was more so with my brother. That's why I have a hard time like forgiving my brother because he was the one. Who got me jumped and used her as the oh you beat you beat my sister ass like no I got jumped by your nigga friend and you guys just only recorded the part where she was you told her to come get me she came and got me you know what I'm saying so mm. it was easier forgiving her than it was him because she only hit me about three times and I got jumped by all your friends and you allowed it you didn't stop it and then you you did your thing too so I think so, my beef, that's why I said, like, my beef more so is with my brother than with her. I don't really know her. I just know what she did to my mom. You know what I mean? So it's like, I came from my mom. You know? So, so if you want to put the gloves on, we can keep your respect, but you got to see about this because it's not, it's not going down. So how do you, and I just, but how do you, how do you feel about her? Like, if you was to see her, like, will, will it be up or will it be no, like, are you going to be like, no, okay. I've already, I've already seen her way after that on, um, lose, what is it? Crazy in Love? Yeah, you said it right. Yeah, yeah I've seen them on Crazy in Love. Love, even though they edit the fuck out of that, you know what I mean? She came and she apologized. She gave me a hug, and you know she just said like I wouldn't wish that my worst enemy. Da da da. So and I felt like it was sincere in person versus like the text message apology. You feel me? So it sound it sound like she don't want to get beat up uh by Krishan again. That's what it sound like to me. Why are you so cool? Like I, I get it, I get it, and it seemed like she being mature about it, but you know. I don't know. It is it's, it's given she don't want no problems with Krishan. Even though it seemed like Callie can hold her own. You know? Um, I feel like if you're not gonna be cool with your brother, you might don't be cool with Krishan. You know? He can tell Krishan to fight you all he want, but she don't have to fight you. And she did. I feel like I feel like she shouldn't be cool with neither one of them. To me. I, I I think it's valid her issues with uh with uh Blueface. I think it's valid, especially as a big sister. Your little brother over here wild and sicking his girlfriends on you to fight you and the mama, right? But 
I feel like you shouldn't deal with neither one of them. You know, th that's just that's just me. If I was in Cali shoes, I wouldn't deal with Blueface or Krishan. Not oh, I'm cool with Krishan, but not Blueface. You know, I'm like, eh. Cause cause saying it like that makes me feel like uh you don't want no issues with Krishan. You know. I I don't know. I don't know. And like I said, it seemed like Callie can hold her own. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't believe that she's scared, right? But I don't know. I don't know. It seemed like a lot of people scared of Krishan. You know. Um, I don't have no beef for her. I know I've heard through the grapevine that, you know what I mean, she wishes me well. I wish her well. Um, I'm always going to be there if she needs me for my nephew. But as far as like a relationship or anything, I'm same thing from a distance. You know what I'm saying? Now, but I'll I be there hate, for my nephew, though. Right. And I hate, like, I just want to ask you this one question. We're going to move on. So with Krishan Jr., like, all I want to know is Krishan Jr., is he okay and well taken care of? Just to know. Look. Everybody asking. They even asking Kelly. And I don't even think Kelly have any connection to that baby. I don't think she even seen the baby. Like Tashiki, no, it's a lot of people that don't even have like they don't have a relationship with Junior. He's only been around Marsh, uh, uh Papa Blue, uh Smiley, you know, people like that. DJ Sky. Like everybody's worried. Everybody's wondering where's the baby? Is he okay? So I, I don't I don't blame this guy for asking. I don't blame this guy for asking. But I, I'm really wondering what she gonna say. I think when I see him on the internet, he looks loved and beautiful. So I personally haven't had the chance to meet him. Um, so yeah, I do pray for him though every day. You, so. so you have well, you said I you have or have not have, have the chance to meet him though. I know. You're joking. I'm so serious. My mom went without me. She just, I was like, why do you always want to take me to the, to the bush? Why did I sound unbelievable? Tashiki ain't met the baby either. Ain't, ain't nobody scared. I'm, uh, like, come on. Ain't nobody scared of, uh, Krishan. Like y'all, y'all need to, if this really y'all, uh, your nephew and your, uh, mom's, you know, grandson, if he's really family, y'all shouldn't let that you know get in between y'all relationship with this baby because he need all the love that he that he can get for real especially dealing with the malones you know but yeah why is it so unbelievable that callie's never met the baby tashiki ain't met the baby either because it ain't issues with krishan like to me it don't sound unbelievable but that's just to me yeah, but when it's some loving and some cute shit, why are you going out? But so you haven't met your nephew yet? No. Oh my god. But it's okay though. I'm sure you know when Blue gets out, I'll see him at Thanksgiving or something. You know what I'm saying? Is somebody keeping you from seeing him? Um. Or some somebody secretly well, she doesn't said she's want you to up see right him now. Did she get out of? Is she locked up still or? She's locked up still or what? Um, from, from girl, you know, you know, Krishan's still in jail. I mean, is she out? I don't know. That that was petty. That shade right there. I don't know if y'all caught that. That was shade right there. You know, dang well, Krishan in jail. Come on, she said. Oh, is she still in jail? I don't. I don't really know. Like, I don't. <laughs> like, come on. We all know she in jail right now. It was on video. You know that girl is not out of jail yet. If you don't think they, they don't pay attention to the blogs, if you don't believe Carlissa, Callie, Dre, if you don't think these people be, don't be watching uh, Great T News and all the other bloggers and be on these fan pages, y'all out of y'all mind. They know what's going on. They keeping up. Yeah, but she she definitely lying. Talking about, uh, oh, 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 she, she, she not, is she out of jail? I, I don't really know. I, I don't know. Oh, based, uh, based off the internet, yes. Okay. So, yeah, that, that's probably... All right, I respect that. Now, how do you feel about Krishan? Yeah, she out of pocket. We don't believe her. All right? We don't believe her. You said she keeps looking away every time she talks, She so she's lying? Yep. Like, come on. Come on, man. 
They this to me. You say Cali giving Bonnie. Nah, she Bonnie a little way more unhinged. Bonnie crazy. And I told y'all I want the circus to shake up. I want Blueface to get out of jail and start dating Bonnie. The blogs gonna go crazy. You know the live streams gonna be crazy. You know, that's really what I want. If you a day one, you know I've been preaching that. Blueface need to get out and deal with Bonnie. Oh my lord. Can you imagine the live streams and the uh, IG lives and all that? The jail phone calls, whatever, from uh, Krishan. Finding out that Blueface got out and start dealing with uh, Bonnie. Oh, my Lord. That will do. That will be hilarious. That will be hilarious. That's crazy, man.